Welcome to the Deeper Life Bible Church Singles channel. This is Princess and I am very happy to see you. If you're new here, you're very welcome here. And for all our old subscribers, we're very happy to see you again on the Deeper Life Bible Church Singles. Here on this channel, we talk about Christian relationships, how to marry as a Christian, what to do, how to know who to marry and live according to God's own pattern. That's our objective here. And if you do not know, we are on Facebook as Deep Life Bible Church. Singles, we're going to put all our um, social media handles in the description um, section below. Uh, we're also on Instagram as DLBC Singles. And uh, we have a page as well as a group on Facebook. Today, without spending too much time, we're going to go right into the topic. And we have a guest here and we're meeting live. You, you might have noticed that we've had um, a couple of videos uh, together in separate locations. And today we are live together with our guest. And her name is um, Madame or Mrs. Um, Deborah. And she lives in France. And as you know, I live in Canada, but I'm here visiting and would just using the opportunity to share a very important topic uh, today. Don't forget, well, before we go into the topic, I uh, would like you to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed so that you don't miss all the goodies, all the good topics that we talk about on this channel. Without, without much ado, we jump straight into the video and we're talking about a woman of substance. So yes. what's What's a woman of substance? Like, what do you think? A woman of substance. That's a very important topic, you know? A lot of people have talked about um, uh, women, virtuous women, women that are able to impact or influence their generation. And when we're talking about a woman of substance, we're talking about a woman that has a positive influence, a woman that has has found uh, meaning to her life as in purpose for living. Mm -hmm. A woman um, that has values, a woman that uphold her values, a woman that could be, um, that when associating with such an individual, your life uh, is transformed, your life is better. That's a woman of substance. And we have so many women today in the world, as we all know, the, the population of women are, are, is over the population of men. And you would, want to, you would want to know, how can I influence my own generation? How can I be a woman of substance? And I know those of you that are here listening to us, you want to be a woman of substance. You want to be a lady of substance, a lady that has width. When I'm talking about weight, I'm not talking about physical weight. When I'm talking about, you know, um, weight, uh, when it comes to influence, positive influence. Now, a woman of substance is a woman that has had, that has found her purpose in life, that is pursuing that purpose in life, and is influencing all those that comes, that come in contact with her. Sorry, that when you meet her. You do not remain the same. She has a positive influence in your life. And now we can, uh, I'll, I'll give you examples of women uh, from the Bible. We, we, we remember the case of Dorcas. The Bible says that when uh, uh, this woman uh, died, people around were crying. Why were they crying? Because she was a woman of influence. This is a woman of substance, a woman that had influence in her own generation, a woman that, has, that had positive influence, that had a, a purpose for living, and people that were associated with her, we are blessed because of, the associated, with, because of the association with her. But as a woman, today, we can talk about women, for, for those that are Nigerians, we can talk about women like uh, Mrs. For long, Oshon Alakija. That's a woman of influence, a woman of substance. And you see the influences she's having, the influence she she is making in her in the society at large. And you, as a lady, you might be looking at these women and you want to be like, 
I want to be able to influence others like this. I want to be able to touch lives. How can I be such a woman? First of all, as a Christian woman, you must have a relationship with the Lord Jesus. And you must keep that relationship with him, that cordial relationship with him. You must be have an intimate relationship with him. You talk with him. He talks with you. You allow his word to have an impact in your life, an influence in your life, to control your life, to control the way you behave, the way you relate with others, um, and um, the way you, you know, the way you live every day, such that you are living not just for yourself, but to be able to uh, to be able to please the Lord and to honor the Lord. We cannot be a woman of substance. We cannot be a woman of positive influence as Christians without uh, the Lord being honored in our lives. And so, you are there today. Maybe um, when you come around your friends, they don't miss you. They don't feel that, oh, if uh, Mary was here, if Sarah was here, she would have done this. She would have done this. Oh, we miss Sarah. Maybe you left where they are. We, we really miss Sarah. Sarah would have helped me to do this. You know, when you become such a woman that people cry when you're not there. They cry to have you around them. They cry. They just want to be associated with you. They will do everything possible to be associated with you. Then you're becoming a woman of influence. You're becoming, you're, be, you're becoming a woman of substance. And I'm enjoying you. I'm calling you to join this queue. The train of women of substance. Women that are not just say, going to say I'm a weaker vessel. Yes, I just have to be in the background. I just have to be in the kitchen as they say. Mm. I just have to be relegated. I can't do much. They want to be women of substance. Women that even if they are, if they are married, the husbands want to depend on them. The husbands know that they have a voice. That when they speak, if they speak for me, a lot are going to be interested in associating them. Look at the case of a woman. This is a political woman, maybe uh, not um, uh, uh, maybe not a Christian as we would. For those of us that are, are, are Christians serving the Lord and who love the Lord, we don't know. I, I cannot talk about her personal relationship with Jesus because she has not talked about her personal relationship with Jesus. I'm talking about Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama is a woman of substance, a woman of influence. Why? Because lending her voice to the campaign of her husband, she was able, uh, her husband was able to also uh, get votes the votes of women, the American women, and the votes of so many. You can call her up to speak and so that people can see that, no, let's associate ourselves with Barack uh, because he has a woman that is with him, a woman, a partner that can counsel him, a partner that can be uh, uh, such a woman that, that we would want, we desire to represent us as Americans. And so, you are single there or you are married. And you're asking yourself, you're not, inf you're not influencing. People are not being touched by your life. And you're just living and you're just living. You just go to work. If you're a working class, you go to work, you come back. You have no influence. You're just at home and no influence. My friends, you have to look at your life. Take a uh, look in inwardly and decide and determine. I just want to become a woman of influence. I want to. Maybe your character is the problem. You, you look at your character and work on it so that you become that woman of substance, that woman that will be cried for. And that they will, they will go to the Lord and say, Lord, Lord, Dorcas is dead. Dorcas is gone. And she was such a woman that helped, such a woman that, that was, was, was loving, such a woman that was caring. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are called. You are called upon to become that woman of influence. I don't know what you have to say to add to well, what I've said. You have said a lot and um, I, I, I want to thank you for, for this important and balanced contribution that you've brought to this, to this um, topic. And so for, we're not going to say anything more, but this is going to be a series that we're going to um, talk more about as we go um, in the following weeks and months and through the year as much as possible we will bring 
up many angles to this topic. But all I would like to add is that uh, if you have not become a woman of substance yet, if you have not discovered what you can do to add your little um, part to the world where we live, it's not too late. God has a purpose for your life. You can also become a woman of substance. You just need to fix what needs to be fixed. And it starts from giving your heart to Jesus if you have not done that yet. And living your life for Jesus every day and asking God for wisdom to become exactly what he wants you to be. For that, on this note, we're going to come to the end of this video and we want to say thank you for listening to us up to this time. And if you have listened to this video and listen to this conversation until this time and you've not subscribed yet what are you waiting for subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on all these topics that we're bringing here and don't forget to share these videos with lots of women like yourself and even men who will want to share this with their sisters with their friends with their loved ones with their spouses with their fiance and so that this can be a blessing to as many ladies as possible. We want to create an army of women that will move the world in the positive direction. Women who will be an, a positive impact in the world. A mother is a woman who becomes a mother and is also the backbone of the society. We give birth to children. Our husbands depend on us. Our Family and friends depend on us. A woman, as we look at the, 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 the celebration of the woman, we see that a lot has been said about women. And you also can join the, the list of those few women who have come out of the, ex, the, the ordinary and who have allowed themselves to to, 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 to flourish, to come out like a, like a rose, you know, and to, to, to show the beauty that Christ has, has kept in them, to, to feel the purpose that God has designed for them. And I believe that you will not be missing on this end. I know somebody is deciding there to become a woman of substance, to become a, 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 a blessing to this generation. Um, and the Lord will bless you. The Lord will help you to Meet everything that God has, all the program of God for your life. The Lord will help you to fulfill each and every one of them. Thank you very much for um, listening to us. Yes. And until next time, we hope to, uh, to come and have other conversations like this. Don't yes. forget to comment, share your thoughts about this video in the comment section below. And... Don't forget uh, to like and to let us know if you have any questions. We'll be happy to answer your questions. The email address for questions, uh, if you don't want to write it in the comment section, will be uh, provided in the um, comment section below. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank we are you. coming to you from France. Yes, we are physically in France. Yes. <laughs> the city of love, they say. I mean, Paris is a city of love. Okay. Bye. 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 Have a wonderful day.